this video i'm going to teach you how to create 3d sound effects so it's very simple so you can use premiere pro so let's start first i imported some videos so you can also download this video from pexels i also included these video link in my description so anyway i imported the first car scene so it's very simple so you just import your sound and adjust some yeah keyframe that's it so anyway let's check it out how to do these 3d sound effects anyway now i already downloaded some cars acceleration sound effects so i think i already made a detailed sound effects tutorial previously so i also included that video link in my description you can check it out how to download the sound effects from youtube and everything i i already talk about so anyway i use this i use the same method in here also now i am selecting the best acceleration part and import that audio into timeline that's yeah it's very simple just import the acceleration sound that's it see now it's playing you can hear in your both left and right a sound but right now we are going to do some 3d sound effects so you have to right click on these effects and select go to panner and select balance now you can adjust the okay, i will show you what will happen if you drag down means bottom you can only hear in your left side and if you drag into bot uh, top you can only hear in your right side sorry left side so yeah it's easy it's depend on your earphone okay anyway one side left or right so now i'm going to keyframe here and here so you can control left and right so you can just con hold the control key and click on then you can add the keyframe i think we already discussed this thing how to add a keyframe everything in previous tutorial now here the car will visible so we have to hear the proper the here it has to be in right side here it has to be in left side can adjust like this now you have to adjust your keyframe based on your timing and everything just here and check it out if not proper then i think we don't need this keyframe you can just delete this keyframe because the car is going too quickly so no need of that keyframe so the thing is listen adjust and we were happy so that's i am doing right now here Yeah, I think we are almost done. Now, uh, yes, proper. A little bit. Now you have to you have to adjust the volume pack also vol. Means to adjust the volume also because the car is coming from far away, so the volume will become very low. Then it will, it will rise, then it will go down again. So you have to adjust the volume also. So right click here, sorry, and you have to right click here in effects again, not in video, and go to not here, not don't use this. Uh, fx go to volume and use levels the second one not bypass level so now you can control your volume again so i'm going to add a keyframe here so the starting the volume has to be very low then it will increase from here it will decrease sorry i think this is better the slow drop is better so it's very yeah you can it's very easy easy easy, easy to control and yeah. now 
uh, okay now we already done with 3d sound effects now you can use some uh, three sound effects we are i told you we already created advanced tutorial based on this you can get it from description that tutorial link so i'm going to add some other sound effects some whoosh so when car passing you can add some whoosh, the air whoosh sound effects so then it will become more nicer that's why i'm having these sound effects yeah just drag and drop you can also download from youtube that's why i told i created a detailed video about adding sound effects we had to move a little bit forward and reduce the sound Let's reduce the volume yeah, i think that is fine now I will show you another example, another sample to the same method. I'm trying to do this. Here, the camera is moving. Oh, it's surrounding the camera. So, see, here, see, if you are assuming the volume from this right side, and so the starting has to be in right that's why i drop the keyframe and drop the line to the balance now you will change into your left side so add a keyframe and increase the value so easy now again it has to be balanced So try with different footages, create your own video, try with your own video and post it on Instagram. So if you post on Instagram, don't forget to mention, don't forget to tag me because I can also watch your creatives. So yeah, it's very simple, right? And create your next video. So,